The bow drill is one of mankind's oldest ways of starting fires, but sometimes it can be difficult for you to know what sort of supplies you need to find out in the wild. So today we're going to show you how you can make your own bow drill out of supplies simply from the hardware and craft store. Now, this is mainly inspired by the book Caveman Chemistry. It's awesome, we're gonna use a lot of those ideas, but we're gonna make this as foolproof as possible. It can be really hard when you're starting out with a bow drill fire to keep the spindle in place, to get enough friction, so we're gonna show you a really nice, simplified way of doing this, makes it a whole lot easier. I think the biggest problem is that you just don't keep the spindle straight up and down, and this is designed to get rid of those problems. It really holds everything in place for you, so that's not an issue. If you don't have the right type of wood, if the wood's too wet, if your supplies aren't right, you're not gonna get a fire anyways, and that can be really frustrating for a beginner. So with these supplies, we make it as simple as it can possibly be, and also a lot easier to learn, so that when you are out in the wilderness, if you needed to make a bow drill in a survival situation, you could. So here's the basic idea. We are going to take a two by four and assemble it into a stand to hold your spindle and fireboard into place and make this much easier to start your fire. We've got a piece of two by four and several different dowels here. Let's take a look at what we're gonna use them for. The two by four is going to be used to build the frame itself. This right here is an oak dowel. It's very sturdy. It's got a lot of strength to it. And this is what we're gonna use as the bow. This dowel right here is made of poplar and what it's made of isn't really important. The importance is that it's a good size fit for your palm and that it's wide enough that we can fit this copper cap down inside it. That's going to be the axle that our spindle turns in. This particular dowel is one and one eighths of an inch. Whatever fits your hand best is the size you should get. This one inch dowel is made of basewood, which is a fairly soft wood, and these are usually sold at craft stores. We then have poplar and basewood for spindles, and you can try and see which one works best for you. As an alternative for our fireboard instead of basewood, we do have a piece of balsa, which is extremely soft. So we're gonna try and see if it works, but we might end up drilling right through it before we get any smoke. So the important thing about a bow drill when you're building this is that the wood itself is soft and non-resinous. Now, if you're out in the wilderness, that can be really tough to figure out. It means it has to be off the ground, but dry and brittle enough to break off the branch. And when you press your thumbnail into it, you should be able to indent the wood. There should be no sap, and this kind of wood it can be difficult to learn how to find. So balsa is a very, very soft wood, a good example of something that we can get a good smoke with, but probably won't get an ember. We've got a couple of harder fireboard options as well. Let's get started. I think the first step is to build the frame. You got it. So another reason this project is so nice is you don't have to be perfectly precise for some of these measurements, especially the two by four. So the two by four, you're gonna want one piece that's roughly nine inches, and then four more pieces that will be 12 inches long. So our bow, we're gonna keep the same size. I'm not gonna worry about cutting that. But the dowel for our handle, measure this to a size that fits your hand comfortably. Gonna have to have a spot on the bottom. That's where the cap is gonna go. And I wanna be able to put the pressure right there. So probably right about like that. So we'll probably wanna give them about an inch on either side. Yeah, and let's just put a mark right there. I mean, it's right in the middle, I guess. So. Yeah. got our handle. We're going to cut a lot of little tiny pieces of fireboard. These are going to go into the bow drill itself. So we'll probably just make a couple of quick marks here. This is more precise than we need to be, but just in case. I have never cut balsa wood on a power saw before. <laughs> I literally felt no resistance. <laughs> cool. We've got all of our pieces. So now we just Got to put everything together. <laughs> so the design is really this simple. We have four 12 inch pieces of wood holding a nine inch piece of wood in place. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a five eight inch hole directly down the center of this piece and into a one inch hole where the fireboard is gonna go. So the spindle will drop straight through the top so it can't be jerked out of place when we pull the bow. And then the fireboard is gonna go straight through the middle. So this is where the fireboard's gonna go. You can see it's gonna be a very snug fit. It's gonna make it really easy for us to pull out that coal later. All right, that should just help me see when I've got everything lined up correctly.
So there is gonna be a little bit of problems with the friction, which is what we saw with caveman chemistry. So what we're gonna probably do is add a little bit of oil into this channel. Make it a little bit easier for that spindle to move. Frame. Board. <laughs> this piece never needs to move again. The only pieces that need to be able to come out, the fireboard and the dowel. It's a bit over-engineered, <laughs> but that's what we want. It's solid, it's not gonna go anywhere. If you've tried making the bow drill the other method, you probably had your spindle go flying like probably a thousand times. cracked into your knuckles, made you say a lot of bad words. This one can't, because the whole thing would have to move and we'll stand on it so it's even more sturdy. Now we just need a handle and a bow. This is a 5 8 inch copper cap and the 5 8 inch is the inside diameter of it. So what we need is a drill bit that's the same diameter as the outside of the cap because we're going to recess this cap down into the piece of wood. Now, the reason that we're doing this, if you've seen the previous video with us using a primitive bow drill style, we were using what's called a palm rock. Now the palm rock puts friction down onto the spindle itself. Well, we're using a piece of wood because it's a lot easier to find. Drilling a hole into a rock is a pain in the butt. <laughs> it really is. So what we're doing instead is we're going to be using a copper cap so that we can't burn through our spindle in the wood. This fits perfectly over the top with no friction. There we go. <laughs> that cap is in there. We're not even using any glue or anything. It's being held in place by friction. Just great. It's not going to go anywhere. So this is such a simple design. You don't even need to worry about finding a curved piece of wood. This is just a straight dowel and some paracord. That's all we need. You don't really need this much. We're going to use about six feet. It's extra paracord, but then if it starts to get worn off in one spot, you can just adjust the cord without having to cut a whole new one. So the knot on one end doesn't really matter so long as it's not going to give, but the knot on the other end, just as you would with a normal bow drill, will be a clove hitch, which is a knot that's going to allow us to tighten it as far as we need. So now we just need to sand the spindle down a little bit. We need a pointy end on one side that's going to go into the fireboard. While I'm doing that, Nate, if you will take some of our fireboard pieces, we need some little cuts drilled into them so that air can actually get to the fireboard itself and create that ember. So even our kindling is just going to be household lint. Really easy to find in any dryer. That way none of these supplies have to be found or gathered out in the wilderness. This is all hardware, craft store, and your house supplies. It's really easy to make. Quick finishing touches. This spindle is so smooth because it was originally a dowel that this is just gonna slip right off of my paracord. So what I'm gonna do is just notch up the wood a little bit so it's got something to catch on. But what we wanna be careful of is we don't wanna create too much friction down here at the bottom. That part wants to stay smooth. This part can be rough. Let's take this outside and see if we can make a fire. Actually putting just a little bit of oil onto our spindle here because we want a lot of friction up here, but we don't want friction where it's being held. Let's make sure it doesn't hit the tip of the spindle. We don't want oil down here because then it won't have friction and the friction is what makes the fire start. Also trying not to get oil on the paracord. But you can already see, once you put that down, that spindle's not going anywhere. This isn't gonna fly off and knock into your fingers like the last one will. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. You are so close. It may be good, it may be good. Let, 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 let up, let up. You got number. You did it. Hopefully we didn't just kill it. But I think you got one. I think he's died. Dang it. All right, trying this with balsa wood. <laughs> How is that surviving this? That crack needed to be wider. Probably. But it's still smoking. That's such a good sign. 
That's usually how you can tell if you have an ember, is if it continues to smoke after you stop pulling, you can usually catch it. <laughs> how do you really feel? Like a failure. <laughs> Don't let yourself on fire. Yeah! Homemade fire. Overall, I would say that this is really good for practice. It holds the spindle in place, keeps it from firing off, which is probably the biggest problem when you're trying to do it with a regular bow drill and a palm rock but it has its own share of difficulties. There's a lot of added friction in the wood that's holding your spindle in place. And so while this might be really good for practice, for teaching kids who are just trying this for the first time, or even for getting smoke, for actually starting a fire, I would say it's worth just putting in the practice to make it work with the standard type of bow drill. Guys, you've probably noticed that since we introduced Cali in our Captain America Shield video, every new video has had secret codes, graphic glitches, and other secret elements hidden into it. Keep track of what you see and the timestamp of when you see it. We've got some big prizes to give away and finding the codes might make you our next winner.